Now we'll be testing cranial nerve 11, the spinal accessory nerve. And this one's pretty straightforward. We're gonna test uh, the patient's ability to resist pressure against certain movements, starting out with a shoulder shrug. So are you able to shrug your shoulders up, Lindsay? Okay, and don't rest your hands on your legs so there's no cheating, so shrug the shoulders up. I'm gonna push down and you resist. Good, no, nice and strong and equal on each side. So we're testing both sides. The next one involves head rotation, specifically the sternocleidomastoid muscle, the SCM. So I'm gonna place my right hand on the right side of your head here, and I want you to try to turn your head to the right, and I'm gonna resist. Good, okay, and now we're gonna do the left side, and try to turn. Good, perfect. Okay, and that's testing cranial nerve 11. And to examine the last cranial nerve, cranial nerve 12, the hypoglossal nerve, it's basically an inspection of the tongue. So I'm gonna stand here in front of you, Lindsay, and I just want you to open your mouth nice and wide and just let your tongue rest. Okay, and what we're looking for is fasciculations or any asymmetry, something that's obvious. Okay, now the next part, you're gonna stick your tongue straight out as far as you can. Perfect. And what we're looking for here is any deviation of the tongue. Okay, good, and relax. Now, I'm gonna place my fingertips on your cheek, and then when I say go, I want you to push against them with your tongue, okay? So now push. There you go, good. Yeah, good resistance. Okay, we'll do the other side, so let me get the fingers in place. Now, push again. Good, perfect. Okay, good, nice and symmetrical. And that concludes the cranial nerve exam.